on Monday, June 1st, yesterday. Um, so I did get it Friday. I got to spend the whole weekend with it. I have to say I'm rather impressed okay. um, with a lot of the capabilities and the how comfortable the watch is, as well as the percentage of battery left at the end of the day to the point where I think I could get two days out of this device. I think last night when I went to bed, um, it was probably sitting around 63%. Um, so I definitely could make it that uh, that next day. One of the things I'm interested in is are you plugging it in when I'm in the shower um, and getting ready and then going from there for, for my day to see see where that ends me up. Um, can I make it just on that charge time alone? Um, that being said, I think in the show notes, one of the things that I was talking about, what we talked about in a previous show, um, in Android Wear is the lack of of non-Google integration with Wear. Um, so I don't know if you can bring up uh, an image from the show notes, but I actually have a tweet that, that Douglas Gerda had tweeted. And you can see I have the options of reply and favorite, um, as well as obviously I can just dismiss the, the notification. Um, this is one of the key features I was hoping to see in Wear. Um, was the ability to take action on items. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. like wear from the perspective of, you know, it, it, it gives me all my notifications. I can dismiss my notifications. And then I can also say, okay, you know who, and, and take a note and start and set an alarm and reminders, etc. This to me allows me to take action or not just start a stopwatch or, or, take a note or send a text message with my voice. This lets me take action on um, third party applications like, like Twitter. Um, Twitter is probably the primary one I've been playing around with. Um, Instagram seems close behind in Twitter on, on the capabilities. Um, Facebook is still more notification based than it is being able to react. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm interested to see where they, they take this feature functionality. Um, the setting up the health app and, and, you know, how active I want to be and how many calories I want to burn and um, having it give, remind me to stand up every hour is not that important to me. Um, I will say, and as I look at my watch, I've set up, I know a lot of different people talking about the different faces that you really have to play with Android Wear to get um, some of the more complex interaction in the face. I think Apple definitely did it right with the complications watch face. So I have the current date in the upper left-hand corner, the current time in the upper right-hand corner, um, my current physical location in the center with the current temperature and high and low for the day. And then down towards the bottom, I have my activity track and what time the next sunrise is or sunset, whatever's next, it'll, it'll give me the time for that. Um, that being said, I really like all that feature functionality, especially in the morning to be able to throw my watch on my wrist and see what the high and low for the day is going to be, as well as what if it's current, what it's currently doing out there. Um, I, I did not, I purposefully did not load every application in the world down to my watch. Um, I know a lot of people have their watches set um, to grab every app that, that, that can tie in. Um, the camera app is pretty cool where you can remote trigger the camera on your on your phone and if your camera is not running or your phone is locked it'll launch camera and allow you to take that remote picture. Um, I'm going through some of the, the apps I have more towards the top. Um, the photos app showing all of your favorite photos and seeking them over is pretty nice. Um, Google News seems a little iffy. I, I don't know if it's me or they need to fix something in their app. Um, Flipboard's pretty nice to have from a, if you're on a crowded bus or train um, and you just want to quickly flip through things. Um, that's nice. Um, but all in all, I have to say, oh, and I, I haven't got to play with it yet, but the Mac ID with the, it's the unlock application. Um, I, I'm excited to play with that where my watch can actually unlock my Mac, um, just by being in the vicinity or I'm sorry, my, yeah, my watch can unlock my Mac just by being in the vicinity. So three, four days in, I'm color me impressed. Um, and I did get the black with the black band. 
I have seen some. I have seen some people on the on the Facebooks and and whatnot, you know, kind of knocking the one day battery life, saying, you know, my Pebble got my my Pebble gets a week. Um, I don't know if your Pebble, the one I had, get got a week gets a week for you. It, oh, not it, a week. I, I think I have too much plugging. Or, I have too much coming into it to right. to get that week. I think. So, so, and that's where I, I wanted to comment the same thing, and I just didn't want to start to get into a huge debate of mm-hmm. Pebble versus whatever. Um, that being said, I think the capability to respond um, to ac- actionable items like like the the tweet and favoring favoriting um, tweets that you're mentioning, and, and all of that notifications, as well as selecting what notifications come over. I don't know if Pebble added that in a later revision. That was one of my things was if you didn't want it to show up in the Pebble, you had to also make sure it didn't show up on your notification screen. Um, Mm -hmm. So, and and this I can, I can pick and choose what notifications come up on my phone and what notifications come up on on the watch the interesting thing is is they try to make it extremely easy for the user um, when it comes to notifications and app settings um, any of the apps that are watch enabled actually say mirror my iphone settings um, and there's a checkbox that's kind of customized and you can alter what the options are on the watch versus what what you have set on the phone um, the other interesting thing is is when the watch is on your wrist um, the phone from what I'm seeing is if you have the notifications set for the, for the watch there, your phone doesn't ring in addition to your watch. It's one 